this is what your Overwatch 2 main says about you. Damage edition. First up, we got Ash. And honestly, for you Ash mains, I'm gonna put it really simple. You're probably hot. Don't at me, I don't know what it is. I just know if you're playing Ash, you're probably hot. And we all know deep down inside, Bob is best boy. Everybody's got their solution on how to make Overwatch 2 the best game ever. And I'm telling you right now, making Bob a playable character is the way. Next up, we got Bastion. And to put it bluntly, Bastion mains are both really chill and also very annoying. I personally haven't ran into a Bastion main that's very toxic in any way, but deep down inside, I know exactly what's going through your head when you're mowing down the enemy team. Nothing joys your heart more than to see the enemy health bar deplete faster than the US economy in the past year. But I can't blame you, it is fun. All right, McCowdy is up next. And for you McCowdy mains, I really just have it down to one of two things. You either really like him because he's a cowboy and you overall just like his kit, or you like playing Snipe sniper up close you want to pop heads click heads all that good stuff but you like to be in the action not sitting 15 miles away like widowmaker and most importantly you guys argue day in and day out about what his name is and it's mick howdy i'm sorry i don't make the rules i just enforce them now it's echo's turn and now most of you guys that have mastered Echo and main her are absolutely cracked out of your mind. Like you're literally the jack of all trades or you try to main her and are absolutely garbage because she has a very high skill ceiling. Either way, there's no shame in it. She's still fun to play, but I give mad respect to you guys that main her and play her religiously and are good with her because holy cow, I cannot do that. Not even close, but yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Real quick, 99 and a half percent of you guys watching my videos are not even subscribed to the channel yet. So if you guys don't mind, please hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this content. End. and don't forget to hit that like button as well as it helps the video out tremendously and back to the video next up is my personal favorite genji now come on guys come on fellow genji mains we play genji because it's fun you have this thrill about you of being an assassin and harassing supports is like your favorite pastime activity we all know the devs hate us because as soon as the character is broken in the game guess who they nerf not that character but genji and if our win rate is slightly above 50 percent they will nerf us into the ground every single time next up we got han soap i mean hanzo spam zone mains are one of a kind you think you're a sniper but in reality you're lobbing log trucks at enemies and getting the most lucky headshots known to man and holy cow do i want to uninstall this game when i get randomly hit by one but hey in a game where everybody's using guns and swords you're the only character with a bow and arrow heck you might even be a big fan of hawkeye or green arrow and yeah i'm not gonna lie hanzo and hanzo mains are still pretty cool scraping the bottom of the barrel we have junk rat now as much as i'd really would love to roast you guys i'm not because the shots you pull off make zero sense you guys are more accurate than Hanzo, Widowmaker, and Ash combined. You guys are the true snipers of Overwatch. And the best part of it is, you don't even look. You don't even know what you're shooting at. But man, you hit him every single time. Junkrat mains are a whole different breed. But if I get stuck in a freaking trap one more time... Next up, we have May. On the outside, you guys are very sweet and seemingly kind. But down deep inside, I know you're satanic as heck. Whether it's walling off your old team by accident or watching the blood curdling fear in your enemy's eyes as they freeze in your ultimate right before you stick an icicle through their skull but hey at least you can't do that crap all the time like you did in overwatch one because i'm still recovering from my ptsd of that bull but a good may main is absolutely cracked and unstoppable even in overwatch 2 so yeah there's that all right fair is up next and i gotta say there's only two types of fairs that i recognize you're either totally normal and i mean the most normal overwatch player in the entire game or you have the mercy fetish you guys know exactly what i I mean if your pharmacy duo mercy doesn't role play with you it's just not right but hey a good pharmacy combo is a literal nightmare to deal with so hey no matter how weird i think it is it works for you and hey keep doing it next up is reaper now there is one thing all of you reaper mains have in common that i've noticed anyway and that is you're there to get the job done while all the other dps are too scared to get up in the tank's face point blank you take matters into your own hands and kiss him right on the mouth with a shotgun barrel that is you guys aren't as edgy as reaper himself usually but deep down inside we all know you feel like a total bad mamma jamma sojourn is up next and really do you guys exist like honestly everybody that plays sojourn just has to because she's good hopefully that changes soon <clears throat> blizzard but one thing's for sure and everybody in the overwatch community including you mains can agree thick thighs save lives yeah that's all i got i ain't gonna lie to you if i was a soldier main that would be the only reason i main her good lord look at them suckers next up we got soldier 76 
All right, guys, listen up. Your favorite ice cream is vanilla. Your love life is vanilla. And your accent, like mine, is probably vanilla. But like Thanos' wet dream, you are balanced, as all things should be. You are the perfect character for new players to join the game, especially if they came from Call of Duty. And overall, your kit is just so well-rounded. You guys know you're vanilla, but you're proud of it. And when it's your time to shine, you might actually put some seasoning on that chicken in like a gameplay sort of way. Next up, we got the Sombra Mains. When Overwatch 2 first released, you guys had a blast. You were ruining enemy teams' backlines like Facebook ruins marriages. So Overwatch not only tuned you down, they yeeted you off the Grand Canyon. And yeah, I do feel sorry about that. But as a Genji main, you guys were the bane of my existence and probably everybody else's. But hey, nerf or no nerf, there's one thing all Sombra mains have in common. You guys are flipping annoying and you're good at it. So keep your chin up and maybe one day Blizzard will give you a slight buff again. Next is Symmetra. Does anybody main Symmetra? Like, no, a genuine question. Do you main Symmetra? I know you guys exist. I know it. But I'm gonna go on a limb and say the Symmetra mains out there that are actually good at Symmetra, y'all have the nastiest placements when it comes to those tiny turrets. Your mind is going like clockwork, trying to calculate every turret position and every chance you can use that teleporter as an offensive weapon more than just a way to get a spawn quicker. Tell me if I'm right or wrong, Symmetra mains. I'm just really curious. I just feel like that's how you guys would work. Next, you got the Tarbjorn mains. Sorry about butchering the accent. But anyway, you guys do one thing and you do it well. I have no freaking clue. I feel like you guys are kind of similar to the Symmetra mains. Mains. There's definitely more of you, but you guys are kind of similar in the way that you love your turrets and you have special spots in every map where you're going to place some things. You put head glitching to a whole new level when you whip that turret out and some of you Torb mains out there lob your primary fire like an absolute champ. But unfortunately, most of your team probably flames you because they think you're just trolling when in actuality, you're actually good at the game. I'm sorry you go through the hate, but hey, that's just part of Overwatch. But I just want to let you know, I love you. Tracer mains, you're up next. I feel like Tracer mains kind of have it similar to Genji mains and that is you like high skill ceiling heroes whether you can actually pull that off or not just like the genji mains is subject to who you are but a good tracer is very annoying to deal with like if i'm playing against a good tracer i'm paranoid the entire game i'm always looking behind me i'm always looking around me i'm looking behind your back i'm looking behind my own back and then boom out of nowhere there's a sticky bomb stuck to my butt and there's nothing i can do but sit there and cry considering my life choices before i have to go to spawn again last but certainly not least the widow maker you widow mains are kind of nuts you guys have the most insane positioning in all of the game any glitch crack or crevice you can get that grapple up onto to get a crazy position you are going to milk that thing like mayfield milks cows now whether you can hit your shots or not that's a different story some of you guys i would rather call you whiffer maker because you can hit the broad side of a barn but some of you other Widowmaker mains you guys are inhuman you know what else is inhuman your spine you really need to go to a chiropractor i swear to god